Howdy folks, Justin here. We're going to hop onto the ladder with our Monastery of Despair Ultra Monk list. Decklist is there on the left. Pretty unwieldy looking. A uh, few small changes, nothing serious. Not running the new monk card. Um, kind of like the four drops I am running in the Hive Defender Cloud Resolutionist package. That might be a mistake, but I wanted to... Uh, oh, I guess the new card is a five drop, so... Um, five drop. Yeah, I kind of like what I got there, too. Maybe it's better than Pillaging Tribune. Uh, I'll make the swap after this game if I, uh, now that I think about it. Playing against Sam, 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 the Immortal. Playing Mage. Uh, we've been tanking our, uh, MMR or whatever today because we've been playing a lot of meme decks. Um, got an altar, got a Thieves Guild recruit, okay. Uh, so hopefully we're going to get into the range of decks we can actually beat with our goofball decks. I was just playing Mono Yellow Dwemer and uh, did not win a single game, so not super interesting there. Okay. Uh, Hive Defender, okay. So the good news about the Mage matchup is unless they're running Vicious Dreg, they have no answer to our altars. And if it's Control Mage, we should be able to grind them out with uh, value. My Between cards like Altar and Eclipse Baroness. Sandra is looking gorgeous. She's heading out for the evening. Be on your guard. Okay, do we just execute this? I don't think this deck has a whole lot of execute targets. Um, yeah, let's execute it. Let's play Ungolum. It is an indication that the guy's running a lot of prophecy cards, so that's something to keep in mind. And hitting Ungolum's great, too, because it means our first Ultra Trigger will hit an Assassin, which will draw us a card. Sure thing. Varanus Courier. So I think we're just going to Hive Defender. If he trades into our Hive Defender, that's pretty good for us, because next turn we can just uh, Alter. Um, swing in and Alter. Presumably he's going to Ice Storm anyway, so... Yep, we just swing and get our engine going. Cool. Okay, so now we're moving. Our two drops in our deck are Broom of Profiteer, Rickwater Witch, Thieves Guild Recruit. We've played one Thieves Guild, we have one Profiteer in hand. Um, Care to go again? Another altar. Okay, so we are in the money now. Uh, hmm. Do I want to start another altar train? Or do I just want to play Varanus Courier? My sword hand itches. Okay. My scales move in shadow. Cool. Uh, we'll do a little bit of damage to him. The bonus is my strength and my courage. Plenty of stuff to refuel with. Um, yeah. Ice Storm's fine. He plays Ice Storm, we just Eclipse Battle. Right? Or we Thieves Guild Recruit into Altar. Okay, so we have eight cards in hand. What have we here? Eight cards. So let's turn it into a one drop and then a three drop. In the Draw a card. Wait. And three draws. Okay. Don't want to overdraw. So now we have one of these on two, one of There's them on plan. four. There's always a play. That's an interesting inclusion. May the ancestors bless us. Okay, what did he play already? Ice Storm. Okay, he wants to bring his Ice Storm back. That's cool. We'll just javel on this. Um, have to get lucky and hit another Murkwater Witch. There we go, we did it. And let's get a four drop, let's hope for... Okay, that's not what we wanted, but we'll take it. We've got an Ice Storm in hand. That's fine. So now we have it on five and three. Five and three, which is a Nasi Knight of the Hour Pillaging Tribune for th 
fives. Let none defile our temple. Yep. All right, let's get the Night Mother online and uh, let's have Night Mother be our our kill condition here. Do not travel this one. Let's go then. My time is precious. Behold my power. Behold my power. Cool. Nine cards in hand. Now, if he miracs my... Care to go again? Eclipse Baroness, that's pretty bad. But we have so many answers to individual threats, which is kind of how this deck tries to kill you, right? Hey, Reaper looks great. Do not travel this one. <laughs> these streets are mine. We'll just keep these on six, which is Golden Saint and Cinch Tiger. And four. Golden Saint would probably be pretty hard for him to deal with. I'm sort of just waiting for him to well, oh no, we're going to overdraw. Don't lose our Odeving or our Marak. Really just Marak. It's the one I don't want to lose. There's a plan. There's okay, always a profiteer. plan. What are we going to overdraw? Oh, an Eclipse Baroness. That's that's pretty painful, unfortunately. Let's um hmm. Well, Immolating Blast is sort of an interesting combo with the Night Mother. There's a plan. There's always a plan. I lurk in okay, the there's our last one drop. <laughs> Okay. Do not travel this one. I don't mind him gaining some life. The idea being that we're going to screw up his, uh, Im you know, immolating blast odds if we do it like this. This is first Marak. Or oh, sorry, first Manticora. You will spoil my class. Okay. Um. Seven is Charis Reaper, which we already played. So there's, a plan. there's always a plan. Alright. Should be pretty good so far. Seven on the Night Mother count. It does 20 damage. That's all we're trying to do now is kill him with the Night Mother. Yep. We suspected he was running those. Okay. Those are Golden Saints. Now we don't have any sixes either. I get his ice storm value, which is fine. You won't foil my plan. Hit a prophecy, also fine. Be on your guard. Uh -huh.
pretty good. Still have answers to his big stuff. There's the ice storm. This is up to 13. Oh, he's running it. Why are you running Vicious Drake, man? Alright, well. Let's get Golden Saint out there. Let's get an 8 drop. I think we have one Eclipse Baroness left. We don't have any Eclipse Baronesses left. Okie dokie. Okay, so now it brings out Tazcad. One Manticora left in the deck after that. I probably should not have played that the way I did. Devaith Fear. Hit face. Sweet. Okay. Let's steal his Devaith Fear, right? Seems good. It's fine. Burn it all to the ground. Just moving them along so we can uh, keep doing that thing. You cannot hope for a Marax it back. Okay, we have 13 on board and a Tazcat off one of these. Let's do it. Alright, well, we weren't able to Nightmother kill him, unfortunately, but we did have a pretty good time doing the other ridiculous things this deck does. Yeah. You just generate so much value that these decks can't... can't compete. And I didn't play that ideally either, because I was trying to trigger the Nightmother, but we still had fun. <laughs>